What is the best retirement withdrawal strategy? Not all of them are created equal. Every retiree has a different goal. People do not even retire at the same time. Some people retire at 30, 40, or even well into their 70s. But their overall goal is the same. They want to enjoy their life to the fullest for the time they have left. Retirees that retire at normal age, in their 60s, expect to withdraw for 20 to 30 years. But compared to the early retirees, we advise them to adopt a moderate to conservative withdrawal strategy. In this video, we will talk about the best withdrawal strategy and how you can live the life you were accustomed to without losing money. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we discuss everything about wealth, financial independence, long-term investments, and being in full control of your money. If you're new to this channel, please like, leave a comment, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to Wealth Power. The best strategy for your retirement withdrawal method is the three bucket strategy. We will discuss its pros and cons, why you should use it, and compare it to other popular strategies. The three bucket strategy is a simple strategy. It is when you divide your investments into three sections or buckets and each of them have different purposes. The first bucket is for the money you will need in the future, maybe two to three years from now. This one contains very safe investments like money market funds, cash, treasury bills, and other investments. This bucket should cover all your ongoing expenses, including vacations, car and home repairs, and so on. This bucket will not make you money. But do not fret, because that is not its purpose. This is the bucket that protects the money that makes you money. The second bucket is for money that you need 5 to 10 years from now. This contains the slightly risky, or sometimes less liquid, investments such as bonds or dividend-paying stocks. The purpose of this bucket is to earn money through interest and dividends. This could help to refill the first bucket as the years go by. The third and final bucket is used for your long-term investment. Money that you will not need to touch for at least a few decades. This bucket contains investments that are high-risk, high-reward assets. Examples of this are real estate, commodities, or other alternative investments. We note that the timeframes are different for each person, so it depends on what you want to accomplish. So, who does the strategy work for? This strategy is suited for people who are worried about selling their investments during a crash. This strategy also works for those people who are willing to work longer, since they have enough invested in their second and third buckets to make up the potential growth of their money. And finally, for people who don't have any income outside of their investments during retirement. So why the three-bucket system? Why not the 4% rule? Some people do not need it. Every strategy has a risk, and have their individual preferences about what kind of risk they want to take. For example, if you were using the 4% rule when the market crashed, you would have to sell some of your investments in order to produce income. An extreme market crash could easily wipe out 30-40% to 40 of your investments in the short term, which could leave your hard-earned nest egg looking pretty hollow. So would you want to continue taking out 4% of your investments after such a loss? Let's go back to the 3-bucket strategy, how it works, and the pros and cons of it. It works something like this. Let's say Lewis and Rich have decided to retire. They want to maintain their 40,000 a year standard of living throughout their retirement. They both have a nest of 1 million. They could follow the 4% rule. But in order to not risk the potential bear market, they will use the three buckets withdrawal strategy instead. They now divide everything into three. Their first bucket has $80,000. They have $400,000 in their second bucket, which is composed of high yield bonds that are generating them 2.5 per year in interest. And their last bucket has $520,000 in their long-term investments. These are mainly growth stocks that are early in their growth cycle. So all the profits will be from long-term appreciation of the stock's price. They will have to replenish their first bucket as time goes along. The three-bucket strategy focuses on having cash on hand, as well as income-producing assets. 
However, since their income bucket is only giving them $10,000 a year, if we use the 4% rule, they will have to cash in their bonds as time goes along to make up the difference. Though due to inflation, the difference will likely increase. The biggest pro of the three bucket strategy is that it gives you a bit of peace if there is a major market crash after you retire. Market crashes are inevitable, which is why we have to work so hard to prepare your retirement account. The biggest con now is that you aren't making much money from your buckets. Your growth potential is pretty low. Having it like that could affect your net worth, especially if you have a longer retirement. Unless you keep your expenses low, this can make a huge difference in your net worth. So let's give you an example. If Lois and Rich lived for 30 years in retirement, and over that time, they had an average rate of return of roughly 8% per year. Instead of using the bucket strategy and leaving $80,000 in their cash fund, they took the risk and put everything into their investments. $80,000 at 8% a year for 30 years is about $850,000. If we say that it is a rate of return of 6%, they would have $460,000 in their retirement. So it depends now on how long you want to spend in retirement and how much you saved. It also depends on your cost of living, as well as the conditions of the market during your retirement years. These factors will determine whether you have enough money to retire or not. Are you going to use the three bucket strategy or the 4% rule with withdrawing your retirement funds? Do you have any other rules or strategies that you can share? Let us know your thoughts and comments below. If you find this information helpful and enjoyed the video, please like, comment, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to Wealth Power. Thank you and see you next time.